Okay, sweet. We're gonna. So, what are we? Am I? Am I? Are we good? All right, we're gonna hop right into a losers bracket game before we get to the winners bracket uh, mainstream. I don't. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna see here. I haven't seen. I I wasn't informed who's gonna be playing. But nonetheless, welcome back to uh, Never Lucky Three. We're at uh, Brothers Grimm Games and Collectibles here in Selton, New York. This is King Tiller and Gores. This is the losers bracket. I believe both players are two one right now, going into this one. <coughs> so, oh, this is losers bracket round three. So they're one and one. Obviously, they, is this is a double elimination tournament for those of you that aren't following the bracket or who want to follow the bracket. Challenge.com slash Neverlucky3. That's challenge with two Z two O's. I think that they're about to get started over here. I'm excited. I uh, I don't know what Dex King Tiller's playing. I think that he's actually just playing <coughs> um, a mid range paladin deck. I don't know about a priest deck. In fact, this is the first priest deck we've even seen available on stream so far. Priest is one of the classes that I feel didn't really get any better. I, I, I really don't think it got much better with Explorers. Um, that doesn't mean that it's not good. It can't be good. I don't know what version he's playing. Could be Dragon Priest. Could be just like Control. Could be maybe an aggro variant. I'm assuming it's Dragon Priest. Um, could be Inner Fire combo. Who knows? I don't, I don't know. But we're going to jump right into it now. All right, so it looks like Gores is leading off with Druid, and King Tiller with that pa the mystery priest deck. <coughs> Gores opening hand. It looks like, yeah, Leopard Gnome, Druid of Saber, Druid of Claw, and Pilot of Treader. And we've got just a turn one North Shark Clerk. Pretty standard. He's got a. Death Lord in hand. And that that other card is uh, Museum Curator. An interesting new addition. A 2 mana 1 2. That when it enters, you can discover a Death Rattle card. Here it is. Let's see what our choices are Sylvanas, Loot Hoarder, and Sneeds. Quite some options for a turn 2 1 2. Sylvanas, Loot Hoarder, Sneeds. Uh, uh, Alright, so we got a Druid of the Saber. He's going to give it stealth. Lepernome and pass. All right. <laughs> Little in. Yeah. All right. Is he playing Entomb Priest? Do I don't. Know? I don't know the list. Okay. I don't, I don't know the list. Have you uh, seen Entomb or like? No. 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 Okay. This is this game is, one, right? This is this is game one. This is also the first time we've seen a Priest deck on camera today. Really? That should be mentioned. Yeah. Okay. There hasn't been a Priest deck yet. We've like seen priest. a whole lot of Druid, a whole lot of Warlock. <laughs> Um, we also haven't seen a rogue deck yet. Yeah, that's expected. But, but yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Rogue is really weak. Yeah. Uh, if I had to guess, I think the priest is favored. Because you can just keep healing out of range of the combo. Mm -hmm. So, and the uh, druid didn't open wild growth, and his hand's kind of... Yeah, this eh. is a, this is a very, very low to the ground aggro version, where it seems like he relies very heavily on his combo. If he doesn't have yeah. it, just... Yeah. Do you know if he's even playing wild growth? Uh, he's, not play. he's not playing wild. He's, playing wild he's just playing okay. iterates, yeah. And there are both of them in his in his hand yeah, right now. It's not see. not exactly. Yeah, that death threat's gonna destroy him. Well, let's see what he gets off it. It mm. can't really be anything too scary. That's the thing. Yeah, it's all like one drops, two drops, and the light warning is like a huge threat. A shredder is not bad. That was like probably the highest cost win in his deck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, he could have gotten a. Uh, uh, Ancient Fel of War. Is he playing Fel River? 
No, he's not playing Fox. So, not from what I saw, and I saw a lot of his decks, so. Okay. Yeah, this is looking really good for the Priest. Yeah. Unless, like, the Druid is, like, a Keeper. And even if he draws Keeper, he has no I mean, pieces yet. I don't think that throwing the Shredder in is the right idea right now. Yeah, I think I would have traded in the 4-2. <coughs> yeah, you always... Powered it. <laughs> wow, he gave him the well played already. The BM. Not even Winterville. Jeez. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> greet him at It's least. actually insane because you can Shadow Manus the Toad into the thing. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, this... That's what you want to see. You know, I'm surprised you didn't just... Yeah. This Shadow Menace is so good. Wow. Yeah, this Shadow Menace is... This is a lot of value he's getting. Yeah. Madness, you could say. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be hard to come back. <coughs> he needs to, like, draw combo pieces soon. Shadow Madness, Toad, and... Okay. That's actually really important, because now he draws Holy Nova next turn, he can still use it to kill his shade. Right. That's good. Swipe it's not the really what you want to draw. No, it's not exactly what you want here. <coughs> you need to get these combo pieces. They're just like mirror minions. Wow. He doesn't... I have no time for games. Doesn't attack either of them. Keeps that... I think he's the Druid's going to die before he can <coughs> make anything happen. Unless he combos like right away. Yeah, he, he needs the other piece. He still he has may have to use that to clear, honestly, because the priest has like two turn lethal. So unless you start killing the minions off, I, I think that yeah. But if you kill the minions off, what do you have left? I, yeah, there's no know? like winning play. Yeah, I, I think that you just have to hope he doesn't have it. Go face here and hope to draw a combo and win the game. I think you even have to swipe here. Like yeah, you just have to like, do as much damage as you can. Mm, even still. If you swipe, he goes to thirteen, goes up to fifteen. Fifteen out of yeah. range. Yeah, I think that yeah. There's like the numbers are just not lining up for the druid. I I disagree with breaking the stuff. I don't like that. Yeah, I, that I, was really I, weird. If he wasn't, oh gosh. Because like yeah, it didn't he's even. Got his own. This is. Maybe if it put him in range of combo, right? Yeah, you'd, yeah, you'd yeah. like justify it. Right. Of course. Then it's like. Yeah. This yeah. Game no, is you, over. Just, you just yeah, scoop. You it. don't even show him the rest of it. Yeah. I mean, not like anything in his hand is something that you know King Tiller's never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> but don't even bother. Just scoop save up. the clicks. Yep. Yeah. Save the clicks. Save save the mouse life. <laughs> no, don't even. Is don't he even actually gonna try to come back? Can he even do it? Let's see. We've got. He has to force end type. <coughs> and then he's out of. He I mean, he, he still has a doom bot in his hand. Uh, he has a. He's a. I don't know. There's Dr. nothing's happening. Yeah, really. this is just over. You can force clear those three, but like, what are you gonna draw? I can see him just stalling uh, now. I mean, kill shade, kill injured, kill Sylvan. Like, uh, Still alive, I guess you, you. Yeah, but you're still dead in over two turns, and like, I mean, yeah, I guess it's a tournament. You play it out as much. There, there's the happy feast. <laughs> Long overdue. The King Tiller BM. I like this. I want to see more King Tiller on camera. I hope, <laughs> <laughs> he continues to play well. I actually want to see more Priest on camera. Are you only streaming uh, Winner's Bracket? or This is Loser's Bracket right now. Oh, okay. This All is right, Loser's good. Bracket, yeah. We're, we're I think streaming. Loser's is better to stream because people like play better. Because like, the last they're, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last they chance. don't want to lose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whereas right. Winner's, you can like, afford to throw away a game or two. Yeah. Or, All right, yeah. so so Gores loses game one. 1-0 uh, King Tiller in the lead. Mm -hmm. Um, with the priest deck, the first the first priest deck we've seen on stream. Priest is really good. One right game, now. one win. It's a good deck. So, let's see what King Tiller and Gores have in store for them for game two. King Tiller's options are Paladin and Warlock. Gores, the last time that he played the Druid deck, yep, he's doing it again. If he doesn't win game one with Druid, he just jams at game two. Mm -hmm. Trying to get. I think it's probably <laughs> his like. Weakest deck? Weakest deck, yeah. yeah. And he's just trying to just steal get out of the win. way. Well, that's weird because he has Hunter too, and the like, Hunter's not in the greatest place right now. Maybe he just plays aggro. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's it. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to try to hit your face. That's Bowling it. Holy dice. Yeah. This hand's really good for the Paladin. Curving. Way. Yeah, it is. And it's not so great for Gores. I just don't see. Yeah, unless he picks up and like, if he gets an Innervate, that'll be game changing. Because you can Innervate the Keeper yeah. and then. Clear cycling the board, but yeah, 
It's looking bad. Even, yeah. Just pass. I think you have to, you have to kill it. Yeah. I'd respect that card. Yeah. Oh, and you've had the muster. Okay, so yeah. If he didn't kill it, that would have been really funny if he sniped one of them off. Okay, yeah. Not exactly, yeah. What you want to see. <coughs> I don't, like... I'm surprised to see the attack there. Yeah, he breaks stealth at really odd times. Like, there's no need there. You have a zombie child on the field. You can get rid of it whenever you want. Hmm. And you can gain all that health back. It doesn't, this this swing... Maybe he's, like, respecting Consecrate. But if he has the Consecrate, the three... Like, you have to play like he doesn't have it. Yeah. Because if you're just going to throw the damage in for fear of it, then you're going to anyway. Yeah, if you're an aggro deck, like, you just have to... There we go. Another keeper. Um, This is not bad. Deal mm -hmm. two. Don't silence it. There we go. Yeah, but <laughs> he is a... The Talon is a ridiculous group. Oh, yeah. That's, like, game-changing. <clears throat> and the Druid says nothing. No. He's got Savage Roar. That's it. Yeah. But they, there's yeah, no minions. There's no minions yeah. the Savage Roar. Yeah, yeah nah. I, I just find it interesting the deck list he's playing because he's playing um, Poison. Not Poison Seeds. He's playing um, uh, Roots. But mm -hmm. he's 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 not playing Violet Teacher or anything like that. It's just like... I don't. I, I feel like roots with Violet Teacher is so so important. Wow, King Tiller. I think just Aggro Druid as a whole is in a bad spot. I think if you want to play Aggro Druid, you have to play like like a the Egg variant. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw it. They play like um, Dragon Egg, Ruby Egg, yep. and like Soul of the Forest. Yep. It's interesting. Yeah. I think this is just yeah. Wow, King Tiller continues to lay on the VM. <laughs> just nonstop. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> All right. Justice are. With no, uh, with no hero power. That's right. Yeah, just wow. It almost looks like it almost looks like the Paladin decks the aggro deck. Yeah, right. <laughs> you curved out really well. Yeah, it's a Paladin. Right, so sensitive. now we're gonna have to just just slam all the dudes, I guess. I, this consecrates devastating with the one ones. <laughs> all right. It should also be noted that the Giants tied their game with the Carolina Panthers just now. It was thirty-five to seven. <laughs> With, I think, five minutes left in the third quarter. So, Giants just tied up at 35. Congrats. Maybe somebody can beat the Panthers. <laughs> As for King Tiller, I don't know if anyone's going to beat him. With the BM raining down. <laughs> Another well played. This Consecrate is going to destroy him. Yeah. This Consecrate Muster cleans up everything so well. Yep. <clears throat> I don't like that. Nah. I don't get why he didn't just hit, him, hit the face into the Darnassus. I think he's, like, respecting combo. He doesn't want to get too low in life. I mean, but he does have the, like, I don't know. It actually, like, paid off because uh, Lepernome would drop him to 14 if he face tanked it. Um, yeah, if he, I think he'll win by turn 9 anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Wow. That's in, I would have went face. That's bold. I would just go face. You're not winning this you, game by trading. You're going face to 17. You're going face to 16. After the Leopard trigger, it's at 14. Four, yeah, and then exactly. you have the combo. Like, yep. That's the idea. Now he just can't kill him no. on turn 9. Now he just can't do it. Because he just doesn't get damage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's game over. And King Tiller with all his BM honestly deserves to get comboed, I think. <laughs> After the sw oh. The swipe is just brutal here. That's it. doesn't do anything. No. Nope. GG. <laughs> wow. This Druid deck is not looking too good. Wow. Continues with the B. Somebody's going to have to tell him that that, that is Don't mean. almost not acceptable on screen. <laughs> that is a lot of BM. He may need to be squelched, actually. I <laughs> might just squelch him. That's the spirit uh, of We might see the first squelch on camera. <laughs> uh, BM is in the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah. Christmas is all about gifts and BM. You know, Druid decks. All right, and aggro decks. Here we go. Gore's switching it up to face hunter. Yeah, of course. As I kind of expected. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's play more. Here we go. Actually, uh, we watched Gore's on camera earlier win uh, his game three with face hunter. Put his opponent in a rough spot where couldn't really do much. All right. Good luck. All right. I am a one man commentary for for the next one. All right, King Tiller leads off with the zombie child. Gores follows up with Mad Scientist. After the coin, what is this? 
I I guess King Tiller is playing Fugin in his Warlock deck. That's a spicy, spicy new one. I have not seen that in a long time, regardless of camera. All right, the scientist popped. It, I believe it's a snake trap he's going to leave down. He has Animal Companion in hand for next turn. <coughs> I think... I mean, it, if you get Taunt with your Animal Companion, you're in good shape with that snake trap. If not, I don't know. Oh, Huffer. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, if you could ever, obviously, set up the Knife Juggler with the Snake Trap, that's pretty much just an auto-win. But, not quite. Alright. Alright, so sticking to the name of the deck. Face Hunter is going face. <coughs> There's a Fugin. Which Agoras doesn't even he doesn't even know what to say after seeing that. Yeah, and we're just going to keep going face. Glyvezuka pumps the Leper Gnome and continue to just face the Handlock deck. To six mana, he uh, he hasn't seen... It. I mean, from from the looks of it, it looks like this is this is Finding Reno right here that we're watching because we've obviously seen a lot of one-ofs. Um, huh, no, no Hellfire or anything. Shadowflame will clear up the rest. Six, two down to 16. Does he have enough? Can he <coughs> Huffer one time? Nope. Uh, Misha and a kill command to the face. Bold. Uh, face more to nine. Okay. I mean, he's got eight damage in his hand. The anti kill bot will put him up to 17. Wow, King Tiller with the Dark Bomb and then the well played. Not exactly. That is the face of BM. That's what you're looking at right there. Wow, can we get a can we get a graphic for that? Jesus. That is BM Supreme right there. Uh I mean we, we don't play the science yeah. Just quick shot two of them. I mean you live. But just living is not exactly... Why would he... He's going to kill command there to save the quick shot card value. I don't know if that's worth the two extra damage, but... Hellfire and Soulfire will do it. King Tiller takes it 3-0 with a ton of BM. There's that face. The face of BM. Doesn't even care that he just dominated 3-0. Over Gores in the loser bracket. He, he says good game, but he doesn't seem to really care very much. Um, all right. That'll do it. I think we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get back to winner's brackets after this.